Good morning. There we go. How are you all today? Well, I want to know, do you all know what a skunk is? Everybody? Yes. You know what they look like? Yeah, yes. What do they look like? Yeah, they're black. They're kind of like a cat size, right? But they have this white stripe down there. So you can pretty well spot what they are, right? Well, today I'm going to tell you a story about the Hoyt family. They, uh, they went to the mountains for their summer vacation. And uh, they had an old cabin up there in the mountains that had been passed down in the family from their grandfather. And they enjoyed it because there was all these lovely trees around it and and it was so quiet, and they could commune with God and nature, and it was a lovely place. So one night, they were eating supper out on the front porch. It was kind of getting dark, and to their amazement, they looked down, and they saw a skunk. Well, he was just nosing around the yard. He didn't see. You know, they don't see they're about three feet ahead of them. But he was nosing around the yard, and then he, he climbed up on the porch. And they're sitting there around the table, and they're like, oh, my goodness. Because skunks kind of have a reputation. Yeah. Well, the father, he poured some milk in a saucer, and he set it over on the chair. And the little skunk came over, hopped up on the chair, and he started drinking the milk. And he was a very good little skunk. He didn't do anything to them. And he, he held their breath, but he seemed happy and content. And finally, he just jumped down and went on back into the woods again. Well, you know, that started happening almost every evening. That here comes this little skunk. They named him. They called him the little Clark corporal. And he would come and put the milk down in the chair, and he'd hop up there and eat. When he's finished, he'd just go on and go on. So they got kind of used to having him come, and they looked forward to him coming, because he didn't hurt them any. Well, then all of a sudden, he wasn't coming around. And they really kind of missed him. They expected him to come, but he didn't. He wasn't there. So, they were inside one night, and they heard this thump, thump at the door. So they opened the door, and here's little Corporal. But he wasn't by himself. He had brought Mrs. Corporal and six little babies. Well, he just looked at them, and so I guess he'd come for his milk. So they, they, they got the milk, and they put it down there on the chair. And then they put some other little dishes down for Mrs. Carpel and the babies. Now, Mrs. Carpel was a little bit leery. And she kind of stood up on her front legs and thumped. She wasn't really sure about what her husband had gotten her into. But finally, they decided to drink their milk and go on their way. Now, they really enjoyed it. So, um, they left, and um, um, I lost my place. <laughs> they left. Anyway, they didn't, uh, um, they, they kind of saw that when you were nice to the skunks, they were nice to you. And so, that's a good, good lesson because there's a good side to skunks. I mean, they do have a bad reputation because I remember when I was a little girl that one of our dogs got skunked. And we didn't like him around the house at all for a long time. So, anyway, we have to remember the same thing that when we look at a person, we can't judge them. Whether it's a maybe a bully in school or 
maybe it's somebody that looks different than you do, or somebody that wears funny looking clothes. You should not judge them by their appearance. Because the Bible tells us to judge not. We don't have any right to judge people. Matthew 7, 1 and 2 says, Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. There's another part in the Lord's Prayer which says, Forgive our trespasses as we forgive others their trespasses. So that means if we don't forgive other people, is God going to forgive us? No. So be careful when you judge people. Give them a chance to might be a good sign to them. Anybody want to pray for me today? Okay, I've got a volunteer. Maybe not to do that. We are not supposed to do that. Thank you, children.